Hi, my name is Andy Colbert and I'm the training manager here at Riedel. Welcome to the Riedel Academy to go. A short video that will help you understand how to get a certain function working in your Riedel product. If you want to go a bit deeper and find out more about the technology that makes our systems work, then please do head over to the Riedel website and click on the Academy section. There we have all kinds of sessions from webinars to presentations, workshops, interactive online trainings. We also do in-person trainings. So thank you for watching this video and we really hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching the Riedel Director how-to video series. In this video, we'll be covering GPIO triggers. GPIO, or General Purpose Input Output, is a standard interface used to connect microcontrollers to other electronic devices. We can use GPIOs to trigger call lights, on-air lights, a Riedel Reface unit for two-way radio integration, or even use GPIs to trigger key commands on your panels. The possibilities with GPIO triggers are endless. Hardwired panels typically have three GPIOs on board for anything that needs to be triggered locally, or you can get a GPIO card that can do 16 inputs or 16 output triggers. First, we'll take a look at interfacing your Riedel Reface unit with your artist frame. For successful integration, we need a four-wire AIO, which you can see we've already programmed into this config file. We also need to configure a GPO trigger for the Reface. In this particular file, we have a GPIO card installed. You will not see the card in the network tree since there are technically no assignable ports to the GPIO card. We need to double click on the node to view our card layout. And here you can see we have 16 inputs and 16 outputs. And we need to assign one of our outputs to the reface unit. We want it to be normally open so that when we trigger it, it closes the circuit and triggers the unit. To name it, we go to our GPIO tab, right click properties, and we'll name this GPO to reface. And click OK to save your changes. We'll navigate back to the network tree to our reface four wire tie. And as you can see, we already have a Vox function programmed. And that function is a call to conference because the production line is the conference that we want to interface with the radios. Now we need to trigger the GPO. So we'll use an on call function so that whenever someone calls the conference, it triggers the GPO trigger. To do this, we right click, add function, switch GPIO out, and select the output that we've already named, and click OK. Our Riedel Reface unit is now ready for communication on the production channel. Let's take a look at a common example of a GPI. There are a variety of users that need foot switches to operate their intercom panel because they simply do not have any free hands to push the keys. Front of house audio engineers, monitor engineers, and lighting board operators typically have their hands full from the time the show starts till it's over. We can use foot switches to trigger key commands on their panel. Let's take a look at our audio engineers panel. Here, we can see that there are three GPIs and three GPOs, but they are not yet defined. We need to right click and define the GPO. Here you can see the properties, of the GPIO tab of the panel, that we have three ins and three outs. For the inputs, we want to use normal. And we'll go ahead and assign one and two to trigger two key commands on the panel. We can then right click to add a command. We can see on the panel that we already have a production key and an audio key to call those conferences. And we know that two of these foot switches are going to be used to call them. There's no sense in adding another call to conference, so we can use a remote key. This is a way to remotely trigger a key on your panel. Choose the destination and the key and the options. We want to press the key, lock the key, change the signal marker, or change the key text. In this instance, we want to press the key and click OK. Now one of those foot switches will trigger the production key. We'll do the same thing for our audio conference. Right click, add function, and remote key. Make sure you select the destination of the local panel, the key that you want to trigger, and we want to press the key. Jonathan now has two foot switches to call either conference if his hands are busy mixing the show or triggering his audio cues. Remote keys are a useful function to trigger other keys or cascade functions as needed. To see more examples of the remote key function, please watch the Riedel how-to video on remote keys. And thank you for watching these examples of GPIO triggers. 
Please share your workflow in the comments and remember to subscribe to see more content in the future.